Hello everyone, and today we're reading Miss Lazar is Bizarre by Dan Gutman. Pictures by Jim Pala. Chapter One, A Bathroom Emergency. My name is AJ and I hate school. Listen, I'm about to tell you something I never told anyone else. I never even told my best friends, Michael and Ryan. But you can't tell anyone. It's a secret. Promise? Cross your heart and hope to die? Are you ready? Okay, here's the secret. I, I can't tell you. Oh, all right, I'll tell you. Sometimes, when I'm at school, I ask my teacher, Miss Daisy, if I can go to the bathroom, even though I don't really have to go to the bathroom. That's the secret. Okay, okay, so it isn't such a great secret. But sometimes, I just get that antsy feeling, and I want to get out of class for a few minutes. So I ask to go to the boys' room. I was feeling that antsy feeling one day in class. Miss Daisy was talking about weather, and she was showing us pictures of volcanoes and tornadoes. It was pretty cool, but I just wanted to stretch my legs for a few minutes. So I raised my hand and asked Miss Daisy if I could go to the boys' room. She said okay. Nobody else was in the boys' room. I didn't have much to do in there. There's not a whole lot to do in a bathroom, except for go to the bathroom, which I didn't have to do. I looked in the mirror for a few minutes and made funny faces. I washed my hands. I shot paper towels at the garbage can. Then I figured I'd better get back to class. I thought I should flush the toilet because then it would sound like I really went to the bathroom. So I flushed it. You know how the water is supposed to swirl around the toilet bowl like a little tornado and then go down the hole in the bottom? Well, this water didn't swirl at all. It didn't go down the hole either. It just started rising. It got higher and higher. It went all the way up to the very edge of the bowl. I started to panic. And then it went over the edge and started spilling onto the floor. Water was pouring out of the toilet bowl. It looked just like those erupting volcanoes Miss Daisy was telling us about. I thought I was going to die. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. I had to think fast. So I ran out of the boys' room and started yelling, Help! There's a volcano in the boys' room! Run for your life! It's erupting! The toilet is going to explode! Everyone came running out of our class, even Miss Daisy. Our principal, Mr. Klutz, was down the hall. He came running over too. What's going on? asked Mr. Klutz, who has no hair on his head at all. I mean, none. His head is like a big light bulb. I flushed in the water, it got higher, and it's going to blow. I panted. I was all out of breath. Mr. Klutz pulled out his walkie-talkie and started talking into it. Miss Lazar, he said, come quickly to the boys' bathroom. It's an emergency. Chapter 2 Miss Lazar to the rescue. Now the water was sliding under the boys' room door and into the hallway. The whole school was going to be flooded. For a second or two, I thought, this is great. If the school flooded, we would get to go home. Maybe the erupting toilet volcano wasn't such a bad thing after all. Did you put something down the toilet, AJ? Mr. Klutz asked me. No, I said. I, I just flushed it and... I never got the chance to finish my sentence, because at that very moment there was an ear-piercing shriek of a whistle, and it sounded like a lawnmower was coming down the hallway. It was Miss Lazar, our school custodian. She was riding her motorized scooter. Miss Lazar was wearing her big blue overalls with the letter SC on the front. She carries one of those toilet plunger thingies with a suction cup at the end. My parents have one just my parents have one at home just like it. Miss Lazar and the scooter screeched to a stop right in front of us. Have no fear, students. It is I, Super Custodian, said Miss Lazar as she hopped off the scooter. What happened? AJ had a bathroom emergency, said Andrea Young, this really annoying girl in my class with curly brown hair who I hate. I did not, I said. You got here just in time, Miss Lazar, said Mr. Klutz. The toilet must have backed up. Mr. Klutz totally didn't know what he was talking about. The toilet didn't back up. It didn't move an inch. 
This looks like a job for Super Custodian, said Miss Lazar. What a mess, Andrea said. AJ made a big mess. The messier the better, said Miss Lazar. I love messes. You do? I asked. Why? If kids didn't make any messes, I wouldn't have a job, said Miss Lazar. So make all the messes you want. In fact, I wish you kids would throw more garbage on the floor. I don't have enough to clean up. So Nana Nana Boo Boo on Andrea. Stand aside, students, said Miss Lazar. Super Custodian is here to save the day. Anytime finger, anytime finger paint is spilled, or somebody loses a retainer in the garbage can, or a child throws up, I am at your service too. Can you just clean up the mess, please? asked Mr. Klutz. You can count on me, Miss Lazar said. She put on these gigantic yellow plastic gloves and pushed open the boys' room door. It looked like a lake in there. Miss Daisy told us we should go back to our classroom before we could make a move. But before we could make a move, we heard Miss Lazar's voice. Aha, she shouted. Here's the problem. Miss Lazar came back out of the bathroom with something in her hand. Crayons, she said. Somebody stuffed a bunch of crayons down the toilet. Mr. Klutz and Miss Daisy looked at me like I was the one who stuffed the crayons down the toilet. I didn't. I really didn't. Why would I do a dumb thing like that? From the hallway, we could see the water was starting to go down the drain into the bathroom. Into the bathroom floor. The toilet wasn't overflowing anymore. Wow, you did it, Miss Lazar, said Andrea. What a brown noser. Miss Lazar, save the day, said Andrea's crybaby friend, Emily. Everybody started cheering and clapping their hands. Miss Lazar took a bow. Principal Klutz is like the king of the school, but Miss Lazar is like a real living superhero. Anytime something goes wrong anywhere in the school, she is the person to call. Miss Lazar can clean up any mess and fix anything that breaks. She is the only one in the whole school who can turn the lights on and off when we have an assembly because she has a special key. She can solve just about any problem in the world. It was nothing, really, said Miss Lazar, taking off her yellow gloves. Anybody could have... She never got a chance to finish her sentence, because at that very moment, her walkie-talkie beeped. Miss Lazar, said the voice in the walkie-talkie, we have an emergency in Mr. Docker's science room. Until we meet again, said Miss Lazar, as she hopped back on her scooter. Duty calls. And then she roared down the hallway. Me and Michael and Ryan started giggling because Miss Lazar said duty, and the word duty sounds exactly the same as the word duty. It's okay to say duty, but you're not supposed to say duty. So every time anybody says duty, I, have, I can't help but think of duty, and I have to start giggling. Duty sounds way too much like duty, if you ask me. Those two things should definitely have different words, don't you think? Okay, that's the first two chapters of Miss Lazar is Bizarre. You can uh, wait for part two. Bye.